up guys, Luna Wolf and Max Ice here. So, the other day I did a video about the good police encounters I've had. I have not had, since I've been over the age of 30, I haven't had a bad police encounter in a long time. But I have had more negative police encounters than I have had positive. And that includes just seeing, and this is me being in military uniform, walking into a gas station, seeing a police officer and saying, hey, how's it going? And them just staring at me. I'm not making that up. That's happened so many times. They just stare at me like, why'd you even talk to me? Like with just that, I, I don't, I don't like an air of superiority, you know, it's weird. I've gone into so many gas stations in uniform because uh, I get off work and most of the time I'll stop at a gas station and get some drinks or whatever and I'll see a cop and I'll be like hey how's it going man and they'll just stare at me <clears throat> so that that in my negative police encounters I include that um, but so yes uh, a couple days ago I did a, a video of the positive police encounters I've had where most of them have been me in uniform cops stopping me seeing me in uniform and be like oh, okay go ahead Sorry I pulled you over, you know, or whatever. But, so, I'm going to, this is going to be several parts. I'm going to do, uh, I don't know which, dude, I have so many. I guess I'll, I'll do one of the biggest, uh, this is before I joined the military. Uh, this is while I was actually trying to join the military. Um, one of the biggest police encounters that angered me so bad. Uh, police falsifying a report while I was there and taking evidence from the scene. Uh, I have no proof of this. This is, you know, uh, smartphones really weren't a thing when this happened. So, I mean, there were, wasn't really, like, you couldn't really film. But um, <clears throat> it was pretty bad. So I guess I'll start off this three or four or five part series of negative police encounters I've had. Um, and so I'm doing this because, partially because I've heard that uh, the majority of cops treat black people or minorities different than white people. And so, that being said, why was I treated so negatively? Even though I'm not from a rich neighborhood, uh, and the neighborhoods I've, I've lived in are not rich neighborhoods. Most of them are poor neighborhoods, uh, you know, like upper poor class, lower middle class neighborhoods that I've lived in and run around in. So, part of this is to show that you don't have to be a minority to be harassed by the cops or have cops do bad things to you. Uh, and then part of it, I guess, is to show that uh, there's... I'm not going to say there's a lot of bad cops out there, but, man, it's dangerous. Some of the people they give all the power to uh, over the c citizen population, it's pretty scary. But um, <clears throat> So this first story... I was living downtown. I was actively trying to join the military. I was painting cars at the time, living downtown. Uh, I was in a district that had a lot of bars in it, and so parking was hard to come by, and so I had to park my car on the street. And I messed up and parked my car to where this bank, like this this drive through, was right where my car was. <clears throat> so I woke up. I woke up one woke. I woke up. I woke up one morning came outside, and I saw my car. It was probably 50 yards away from me, and I was like, what is that? Like, it looked like my door was caved in. I was like, oh, God. I worked at a body shop at the time, so I wasn't super worried about it. So I walked down there. Sure enough, somebody had backed into my door, just crushed my door. I mean, the door was done. The door needed to be replaced. They even got in the front door and the rear quarter panel, and I was like, God, hit and run. I'm never going to find the person. But I saw under my windshield wiper there was a card. And I was like, oh my God, somebody left their insurance information. I picked the card up. It had a detective's name on it, a police detective. It had a little like official badge. I remember it vividly. A little official badge saying I'm a police detective and all that stuff. And I was like, awesome. Okay, so I have this, but I didn't know if, you know, like if I showed this, they would be like, well, that just says a police detective left it on your car. I flipped the card over. It had in writing, someone wrote in pen, the detective wrote his name, wrote, said, contact this police department. I backed into your car. 
and contact this police department. They'll take care of you. <clears throat> and so I knew it was a thing, like, if, cop, if cops hit you, the city pays for it, or whoever funds the police in that area. They pay for the damage to your car. So I was like, yes, like, the city's going to pay for it. I'm going to get it fixed. This is awesome. Even though I worked at a body shop, I was like, all right, I'll, I'll bring it to my body shop. I'll fix it myself, and their insurance will pay for it. So I called the precinct that the detective had wrote on the card, the number on the back of the card. He said, this is the precinct I worked at. So I called the precinct. Immediately, you know, lady answers the phone. I didn't call 911. I directly called the precinct. She said, how can I help you? And I said, um, a police detective has backed him into my car. And before I could continue, she stopped me mad and said, how? How do you know that? Do you have evidence? And I was like, whoa, like blown away by how mean she was. And I was like, yeah, I have his card. He left his detective's card. She said, well, what? He probably just saw your car got backed into and left a, his card on there so you could call us, you know, to file a report. And I said, no, and on the back it says that he he wrote, I backed into your car. I'm sorry. Here's the precinct. They'll take care of it. And I said that. I told her on the back of the card, it's wrote on there. And she goes, oh, she immediately, once I said I had evidence that he wrote down, she immediately changed her tune. She was like, oh, I'm so sorry. I'll send some officers out there right now. We'll get you a police report. We'll get this taken care of. You know, the city will pay for it with their insurance and all that stuff. I was like, awesome. That's what I wanted to happen. Two cops showed up. Two white cops. I, I don't know why that's necessary to say, but apparently uh, the race of the cop matters nowadays, but whatever. So two cops showed up, and uh, they, they were also, <clears throat> how can you prove, they were mad at me. How can you prove a police, one of us, backed into your car? I said, well, I have this card, me not thinking, being an idiot. I said, I have this card, and it, it, he wrote on the back, sorry, I backed into your car. The city will take care of it, basically. And they were like, oh, oh, okay, all right, we'll put that in the report. Awesome. Okay, so you have evidence that this this detective backed into your car. Awesome. Can I see the card? And I was like, yeah, sure, here you go. They said, thank you so much. We're going to put this in the report. He put the card in this little clipboard. He wrote down a bunch of stuff. He handed me some paper. And he said, hey, you know, it's going to get taken care of. We're sorry for the inconvenience. See you later. Boom, they bounced. I was like, cool, I have this little police report that says that a detective backed into my car. So I go downtown to them, and I said, here's my police report. And they looked over it, and they're like, yeah, so now you have to get insurance to take care of it. And I was like, no, they, they wrote in the police report. I remember telling the lady at the downtown police precinct, no, they wrote in there that a detective backed into my car. It was a cop that backed into my car. So how... How am I going to get it paid for? And they looked at the report and they were like, it don't say nothing on here about how a detective backed in your car. No, no cop backed in your car, according to this report. You're going to have to get with your insurance. You're going to have to pay to get your car fixed. And I was like, what? Like, no, a cop backed into my car. And she said, do you have any proof? And I said, yeah, I have his card. I have the detective's card. And I went through my wallet and I was like, no, the cops took the detective's card from me. So I was like, okay, all right, I'm going to get this fixed. Cops are good people. I'm going to get it fixed. And I said, hey, I'll be right back. Went outside, called the police precinct, got the same lady on the phone. This is within, like, it hadn't even been an hour, you know, so the lady was still working. And I said, hey, the cops that showed up uh, took the detective's card that I had when they wrote my report earlier. I was like, you remember talking to me, right? And she was like, no, nah, I don't remember talking to you. You can't prove nothing if you ain't got the detective's card. You can't prove nothing if you ain't got no uh, uh, evidence or anything. And I'm like, no, y'all y'all took it from me. I gave you the card. Y'all took it. She was like, you can't prove nothing. You're just making up things. I'm like, oh, my God, they played me. They played me. Like... This is one of, I mean, it's not the first negative police encounter I've had, but it's the most crazy I've had. They played, they took the evidence. They played the Mr. I'm, we're the cops. We're here to help. And they took my evidence and said, screw you. You're on your own. I don't know why. I don't know if they had some sense of protecting their own 
in a weird way, even though the detective was nice enough to back into my car, that wasn't nice, but he was nice enough to be like, you know what, I backed in this guy's card, I'm going to write down my information on the back, leave my detective card, the city's going to pay for it, it might go against my record, but whatever. He was nice enough to do that, and the cops that showed up, man, just ran me over, and the crazy thing, the lady on the phone the first time, when I first called, I said, hey, a detective backed into my car, and she just sh shut me down, was like, how dare you say a detective? Cops don't back into people's car. That that was like the level of mad she was on the phone. And then to have those, I just heard Wolf snort. He's like, Wolf, Lee's getting angry. I'm not getting angry. I'm just kind of remembering all of this happening to me. And it aggravates me so bad because I don't, I don't know why they would falsify the police report saying that it was a hit and run and then take my evidence from me. Like, it's insane. So, I mean... But I work. I happened to work at a body shop, so I was like, no problem. It it cost me like four hundred dollars to fix my car when it would have cost thousands, you know, if insurance. If I would have had to pay through insurance, if I didn't work at a body shop at the time, it would have cost me thousands of dollars to fix my car. Whereas it only cost me like four hundred dollars. But man, that that just kind of ruined me. I have a lot of friends who are police officers, and. You know, I would hope that they are not like that, but man, that just kind of ruined me with cops. I was like, I can't believe the amount of anger I got when I called and stated a fact. They got so mad. And then the two cops that showed up smiling in my face, knowing that I was going to trust them, smiling in my face, taking the evidence from me. And I guarantee you, they probably just went and threw it in the trash can or shredded it. Like, it just mind-boggling so i can see with all the negative police things going on nowadays i can see it i can see cops acting this way because of what they did to me over just a, a minor traffic uh accident you know what i'm saying like nobody got hurt nothing it just you bent my door a little bit and they they acted like i was the devil to them which is insane but that i went way too long on this uh there's gonna i, I have so many more negative police interactions. Uh, just, I mean, minding my own business. It's crazy. Just minding my own business, having cops mess with me. Uh, some of it's justified. I'll even do a video on the justified police messing with me. You know, you're young, you're 16, you do a little burnout, you get pulled over, you get a ticket. No big deal. I did something uh, illegal, got a ticket, done. But I have so many negative police encounters over nothing. But uh, anyways, that'll be part two. Appreciate y'all watching. Check me out on SoundCloud, Instagram. Like always, check me out on the streets.